Well, good evening to you wherever you are in the world. We are just about ready for the action here. Kickoff is imminent. The teams are indeed with us very soon, having exchanged their various pleasantries. What I have to tell you is that the weather may not be great for the duration of the evening. The clouds are yet to open, but one suspects that they will pretty shortly. And when the rain comes, we are warned to expect plenty of it. Truly, this is a capital venue fit for a truly capital club, which Roma, of course, are. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Aidan Dzeko. He's a real handful up front, Peter, and not just because of his height and that physical presence. He's got excellent awareness and, and technique, and that allows him to bring others into the game. He's a very powerful finisher too, so he'll be giving defenders a real dilemma about whether to close him down or not. I would advise the former. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. So off we go then. Pedro. Zaniolo. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Aimed in towards the centre. Plays it out to the wing. Oh, sweet feet. And he's there to clear it. That's two. Pellegrini, Federico Fazio, Smalling, Mukatari, Spinazzola, Spinazzola, Roma with the majority of possession so far, it is still early. Pedro tries to dink it in. Look at Tarion. Saniolo. Pedro. Ferrari can get it clear. Saniolo goes up and over, and he's there to clear it. Mukatari. This game is in need of some excitement, it needs help, and it's down to the creative and striking talent to up their game and, and give this crowd something to cheer about. There too. Pellegrini, and here's Dzeko. And it's fair too. Filip Juricic battles to win it back. Pellegrini gets it back. Daniolo. In for the follow-up. Goal! Roma! There is the breakthrough. Jeff at his razor-sharp best there. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes.
so we have our breakthrough. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw. Some real no-nonsense defending. There too. Bukatarian. Pellegrini. Hardly anything between the sides. And it's 1-0. Spinazzola, oh he's got that all wrong and it's a penalty, Roma have themselves a chance from the spot, well, the players are making their point but the ref clearly isn't interested, he's waved them all away, yeah well they were exposed and, and vulnerable and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. It's hit the crossbar. Oh, no, he misses from the spot. Not the best spot kick I've ever seen, but they've got to keep their heads up and chase this game. Tolian. Sassuolo. Seem happy to let their strikers roam out wide. I wouldn't want that. No. Oh, well, my worry is that their, their main threat is being shifted out of contention. Filip Juricic. Tolian. Sit into the middle. And that's been leave it clear. it away Pellegrini Spinazzola Smalling it's the whistle for half time and there we are off they go for half time the breakthrough did indeed come in the first half there has only been that one goal, it is very, very tight. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well, there's good movement off the ball, the passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Roma are in at half time with a slender one goal lead. So we're already into the second period. Roma carrying a one goal lead. Nicely controlled. Finds himself eased off the ball. Pellegrini. Forward it goes. Federico Fazio. Petra. Pellegrini. Pellegrini spreads it towards the left. Spinazzola. Berardi did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. There's a long ball, and he just whacks it away. Mm -hmm. 
Sassuolo are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for a, a few moments now. Lukatari. Out to the left it goes. He gets past his man. Not the worst cross in the world, but still room for improvement. Locatelli hoists it forward. Filip Juricic desperately wants to get on the end of this. Spinazzola. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, Peter, if they're attempting to see out the game with such a, a narrow advantage, there's room for trouble. Uh, I just think they're sending out the wrong message. This could backfire. There too. Steered forward. Last ditch defending, but that'll do. Up the changes then in quick succession. To throw. Rain starting to fall here. It has been looking that way for a little while. And it's Jekko over to the left. Oh, he's not going to get that. Pedro Obiang. Pedro Obiang plays it forward. Just brushed off the ball there. Now it's Berardi. Obiang. been taken short it's a decent looking cross great leap he's missed but not by that far good effort very good effort he would have at least wanted to make the keeper work though And it's played forward. Spinazzola. Locatelli. Sassuolo are actually displaying tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. Zaniolo. Spinazzola. Roma still ahead by the game's only goal. Spinazzola. And it's Mkhitaryan. So who's he picking out? That is terrific skill. A terrific save from the keeper. Jekka is very sporting here to acknowledge the quality of the save. A lovely little footballing moment. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Jekko. Yeah, it's safe to say that they just need to manage this to secure the win now. Just a few more moments for them to hang on. Well, what we're witnessing now just goes against the grain. They're not going to get back into the game like this. Hit into the middle. 
keeper has beaten it away. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Terrific contest. It really might have tipped either way. The margins were tiny. Just a goal in it, and that was enough. Your final thoughts, Jim?